Running for audio. Welcome back. That's if you actually went anywhere, which I'm not completely sure you did, because you're probably listening to this omnibus edition of the reviews of all of the Seventh Doctor stories. But if you're not, hello, it's nice to have you back, because you're here to listen to my description and my quick review of The Mind Runners. Now this story and the next one all fit together, John Dorney. So if you've bought box set for 7A, you get to experience the whole of this story, a four-part Doctor Who story with Tom Baker. And you get to do it all in one go. And you get to be smug and happy about all of that, because let's face it, that's what we're about, that's what we love. If, however, that's not the case, then fair enough. If you're the sort of person who wants to buy one issue, one story, one half of the box set, and then wait a whole month because of a cliffhanger, then good on you. I don't have that level of self-control. I had the option, so I listened to the whole story. But of course I'll be reviewing it in the single release form. That's if I can. Here's the synopsis. It used to be fun, mind running, hopping into the heads of total strangers to see what they saw, feel what they felt. But one by one, the mind runners are dying in a wave of suicides, and no one on the planet Chaldera knows why. The Doctor, Leela and Caroline arrive in the city that covers all of this dying world as it prepares to evacuate its people. And they immediately find themselves involved in a mystery. Who or what is responsible for the wave of deaths? Is it the motorised cult known as the Digitals or the enigmatic Mr Shift? Or did the victims attempt to run the night mind, the demonic consciousness of legend that's so twisted and evil that it drives mad all who touch it. The TARDIS crew are about to find out. And the thing is, beyond that, I can't tell you any more. But listening to it without hearing the synopsis, you get a very different noir feel. The place looks and feels like New York, only everyone's blue, which instantly takes you to the blue people who've appeared in the new series. It's a very, very well-constructed story, but that's what we've come to expect from John Dorney. It's a great script, and particularly well-acted. It also has, well, a rather identifiable voice from Blake Seven, which is nice, given the 40th anniversary. But beyond that, what else can I say? Well, as it's a mystery, I don't want to tell you who it is. As a murder takes place at the beginning, that's what makes it all noiry. It's a bit Chinatowny. It's a bit Blade Runnery. It just kind of works. And, as a mystery, I can't say any more. The mystery obviously evolves into the next part. So with that, I'll fade away and then discuss that, either in the next few moments or next month. Be seeing you. <coughs> oh, oh, so sorry, young man. Should you be that close to the edge of the platform? No. Quick! Hey! Careful. Stop! What is it? You've gone white. What What? happened? Doran's dead. Coming soon from Big Finish Productions. Doctor Who, the fourth Doctor Adventures. The Mind Runners. He was a mind runner. A mind runner? What's a mind runner? Once they put this headgear on, hitch a lift in somebody else's head. Well, any sign? Shh, I'm concentrating. I got him. They possess them. I have experienced that. It is not good. Mr. Elder. I'm so sorry. You startled me. Yes. I often have that effect on people. What happened to Mr. Eldrum was a pop. It was off. The rocket will be finished on schedule. And the evacuation will happen completely as planned. 
That man said evacuation. I do not think that is a good word. Are you sure they're suicides? We've lost half a dozen in the last week. All mind runners, uh, hanging themselves, shooting themselves. Uh, I see. Still think I'm paranoid? Friend or foe? What are you doing? You idiot! Big finish. We love stories. 2018 brings with it three brilliant conventions, all held at the Derby Quad. ShadowCon 2, the UFO convention, will be on June the 30th, 2018. Hooverville, the best little Doctor Who convention in the world, is on Saturday the 1st of September, while Big Finish Day is on the 3rd of November 2018. All tickets are available from the Derby Quad website. That was the Doctor Who Tin Dog Podcast, available on iTunes, YouTube, Twitter, RSS, Vimeo, and across the internet. Doctor Who and its associated properties are all copyright and trademark of the BBC. No infringement is intended. Why not become a supporter by visiting patreon.com slash tin dog. Contact the show on tin-dog at hotmail.co.uk. The Tin Dog Podcast is a founder member of the Doctor Who Podcast Alliance. 